these marathon runners, obviously they're not your typical runners, they're humanoid robots, and they're running the world's first robotic half marathon in Beijing. 21 robots started the race, but only six made it to the finish line. Some overheated, some tripped, and several broke down completely. The winning robot took about two hours and 40 minutes to finish, while a human ran it in just over an hour. However, none of the robots did it alone. They needed battery swaps, cooling brakes, and people to guide them along the way. So no, they're not really ready to take on Kipchoge, but they're getting closer than you might think. You see, this wasn't just about making robots run. A few days later, China hosted the Robo Olympics, a full-on multi-sport tournament with over 150 robots competing in sprinting, soccer, and even combat. And you might be asking, why sports? Well, real world environments are messy and unpredictable, and that's exactly what these machines need to train in. Sports act like a stress test, revealing how robots can handle slopes, chaos, contact, and even failure. Each mistake becomes a data point that makes the next generation better. These robots can already walk, balance, and react. Now they're learning to kick, lift, fight, and even adapt. Step by step, trial by trial, they're learning to move in our world. And the gap is closing fast.